Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. Today we got us a big 22 ounce bomber here. This is Alaskan Brewing Company and they are up in, uh, uh, says they're in Juneau, Alaska. This was sent to me by Jesse. Uh, I don't know if he actually lives close to the brewery or actually works at the brewery because he sent me this bottle and he also sent me an Alaskan bottle hugger. But it's not even going to fit this big bottle. It's for a 12 ounce bottle. Very colorful. Very nice. The zipper with the ring on it. Very nice. And it's sitting there a can hugger here. And it's got Alaska on it. Uh, very, very nice. Now, of course, I don't drink a lot of beer straight out of the bottle or out of the cans anymore. But the th it's a thought that counts. So, uh, very nice early Christmas present uh, from Jesse to me. So I do appreciate it, Jesse, for sending me the two huggers and sending me the beer. Thanks a bunch. Uh, let's get on with it, see what we got here. Uh, this is their Alaskan Amber, and it is an alt beer. And uh, it, a lot of you guys probably know what an alt beer is. Uh, for those who don't, I will give you a brief description here. Uh, an alt beer is a German-style brown ale. The alt literally translates to old. In German, and traditionally, alt beers are conditioned for a longer than normal period of time. Other sources note that alt is derived from the Latin word altus, which means high, and refers to the rising yeast. Take your pick. But the extended conditioning mellows out the ale's fruitiness and produces an exceptionally smooth and delicate brew. The color ranges from amber to dark brown, medium in carbonation, with a great balance between malt and hops. So, uh... We'll see what it brings. Not my typical style, but something different. So we're gonna give it a we're gonna give it a whirl around because he sent this all the way from Alaska. So uh, and I damn sure can't get the, their beers here. So uh, commercial description says the name of this beer style has come from German alt, and it's telling you exactly what I just read you for the commercial description. So. Uh, uh, we're just going to go over while I'm getting the top off of this. Uh, very nice cap. I'll have to save that and put it on the fridge downstairs. i tell you the cuisine is German, of course. Not a big hiss. And the cheeses are earthy. Camembert, Fontina, the meat, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. Glassware is the stange, which is that very thin, tall cylinder glass. I've got one of those, but I do not use the guys because every time I try to pour a beer in there, it foams five, six, seven fingers of head. Uh, not recommended for extended selling. Of course, it's only 5.3%, so let's see what we get. Let's go down the center. Generate a little bit of a head here. But we're going straight down, so we probably gonna give us about a finger. All right, enough there for the other half to get her a glass. About a finger of head on there. It is a dark amber color, copper color almost. A lot of bubbles trimming up. It looks pretty good. Let's get a nose to it. I'm getting a light fruitiness in there. Nice malt characteristics. It's got a nice sweet smell. Uh, IBUs, it says here on Rape Beer, is 18. Smells very nice. Smells like a very easy drinking beer. Yeah, smells pretty good. That's what I'm getting. Slight fruitiness and, and, and a little maltiness there, guys. 
Let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Jesse. Very pleasant. Very easy drinking. Low IBUs. Not bitter whatsoever. A great transitional beer, in my opinion. Somebody that wants to get off of uh, the macros uh, to get into something that's made with a little better ingredients and something that's not going to blow your palate out of your mouth. Yeah, very nice. Like I said, guys, not my typical style. It's not something that I would probably run out and buy. But it is a nice change. First beer of the day for me. Uh, very, very easy drink. Very, no alcohol taste at all. Very well made. So, uh, it's, a, it's a nice change up. Uh, we'll start off with something lighter. And uh, just move, work our way through to something of a little more hops, a little more taste. And see where we end up by the end of the evening. So, but... This is the first one, and it tastes pretty, pretty tasty. And guys, I've had the Alaskan Smoke Porter, and I thought it's pretty damn awesome. And I've actually got one downstairs. It's a 2002. Yep, yeah, it's 14 freaking years old. Uh, still got it in the fridge downstairs. So, and it's not a big ABV beer either, either. So, uh, hopefully, it's still good. I might have to get that thing out and go ahead and get it reviewed because I don't think it's, I don't think it's a big beer at all. I'm thinking it's in the five between 5 and 6 percent range and that's a long time to sell her less than 6 percent beer. So well, let me sip on this for a while, it's right out of the fridge, let it warm up a little bit, pour her a glass and we'll come back and see where she ends up. Alright guys I'm back, got just a little left here, uh, decent beer, I mean it's not outstanding, uh, it's not world class or anything like that, but a nice easy drinking enjoyable beer. In, in, a, in a style that's a little, a little fruity, not much, it's a little hints of some fruitiness in there. It's definitely not hop forward and uh, a little bit of maltiness. It's not a malt bomb for any means, but it's a nice balance between the fruitiness and the maltiness in this beer. So, uh, very nice. Like I said, uh, I do appreciate Jesse uh, sending it to me, giving me a t chance to give it a try, review it for you guys. So, let's do the final chug here. To me, guys, it's a B beer. That's where I'm going to put it. 85, straight down the middle of the B range. Uh, I don't think... Oh, I didn't notice if it had a any kind of a date on it. I don't see anything. So... Uh, not sure they are dating their stuff. Oh, yes, here it is. Right on the bottom of the label. It says here, oh, a Best Buy date. Oh, you know how I feel about them. It says Best Buy, and then it's got 12. And then underneath that, it's got B12-2616. So, Best Buy, December 22nd of 2016. So, that gives us absolutely no clue of when it was put in the bottle. And we, I have no idea uh, what kind of shelf life Alaskan uh, Brewing has given their beers. And today is the 7th of December, so uh, we're, we're in under the wire there. But like I said, I don't know if we're giving it a two, three, six month. Don't really know. That's why I harp on the best buyer and enjoy by date. So you have absolutely no clue how long the beer has been sitting in the bottle, depending on how long the brewery wants to give it a shelf life. So since it's not a hop forward beer, they could, they could very easily give this a 6, 8, 12 month shelf life because there's nothing that's going to fade over time. So, Just my two cents guys. Uh, over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says it's 82 in a good range. It is a good beer. I'll agree with that. And ooh, great beer is not so kind. Overall 70 but 89 in the style. And for our final check in we're run over to Untapped. They have it at 3.58. In my opinion, that's right down the middle of the B range, too. So, uh, it's a good B beer, guys. So, Jesse, once again, thanks for sending me the beer. And the, uh, 
the nice huggers that you sent. I do appreciate it, sir. And stay warm up there in Alaska. Uh, guys, if you've had it, let me know what you think. And come on back tomorrow. Let's dig something out of that bridge. See you then.